Mr. President of the Senate of the Dominican Republic, President of the Chamber of Deputies, the Mr. Prosecutor, Ministers, Fellow Parliamentarians, Madam Secretary General, the Ambassador of France, Your Excellencies, and as we say in Nigeria, when you don't want to make too much mistakes with protocol, all other protocols observed. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, as President of Parliamentarians for Global Action, I have the singular honor and pleasure to welcome all of you to our 30th annual forum in the Dominican Republic. Last year, at the conclusion of the forum in Abuja, we passed the torch to our good friends of the Dominican Republic, and it is wonderful to see some familiar faces here again some 12 months after in your own home town. I want, therefore, at the outset to wish this year's forum every success because I know it will be successful. The Board and International Council of PGA, the local organizing committee led by Deputy Mino Tavares Mirabel and Senator Cristina Lazaro, the staff of the Dominican Republic Parliament, as well as the indefatigable PGA staff both in New York and The Hague have made it possible for us to gather here today. I wish to thank them all sincerely for their Herculean efforts. I must appreciate Deputy uh, Mirabel and her colleagues in Parliament in a very special way because I know how hard they have worked to achieve the ratification of the ICC by the Dominican Republic. I also know that they have put in a tremendous amount of effort to ensure the success of this forum. On behalf of the PGA, I must also express my sincere gratitude to the European Commission and the government of Belgium, the Netherlands, Switzerland, as well as the National Congress of the Dominican Republic for their substantial support of this year's forum. Our forum this year coincides with the Fifth Parliamentary Consultative Assembly on the International Criminal Court and the Rule of Law. It is not an exaggeration to say that PTA continues to impact most positively in promoting and broadening the universality of the Rome Statute of the ICC. PGA members have assisted in securing ratification of the Rome Statute in over 60 countries worldwide. This is a unique and substantial achievement. Here I would like to pay particular tribute to Dr. Ruth Winderbush, that is, Please stand up to be recognized. She's a PGA executive member for her extraordinary and tenacious efforts that culminated only a few months ago in Suriname, becoming the 107th party to the ICC. Indeed, Dr. Winder Bush traveled to New York at the time and participated in a high-level meeting with the United Nations Secretary General, the President of the ICC, and others to mark the 10th anniversary of the elaboration of the Rome Statute. Not only that, Dr. Winder Bush also facilitated an important ICC workshop in her own country in June this year, which in turn has led to the new pro-ICC initiative in several Caribbean countries. Ruth is a shining example of the extraordinary impact that one MP, one member of PGA can have, not just in her own country, but internationally. Like Ruth, 
Many of you here today have played significant roles in ensuring that respective, your respective governments step up to the challenge of ratification as well as resisting attempts to coerce them into agreements which would only serve to undermine the ICC. As a coalition of parliamentarians who believe in the oneness of the human race, we have a responsibility to promote peace, good governance, fairness, and the rule of law. The ICC is important not just for ensuring that justice is done, but also in ensuring that it is seen to be done. This is the way we can build a deterrent against those who would contemplate crimes of the gravest nature. I am delighted, therefore, that the prosecutor of the ICC, Mr. Louis Moreno Ocampo, is able to take time out and be here with us in spite of his busy schedule. PJ will continue to focus on the vital work of expanding the universality of the Rome Statute by increasing the number of state parties. As I speak to you, the Czech Republic Chamber of Deputies has just ratified the ICC statute by a vote of 140 to 6 in favor of ratification, paving the way for the Czech Republic very shortly to become the 109th state party to the Rome Statute. I say congratulations to the Czech Republic. Some of you here come from countries which we hope, with our help in PGA, will in the near future take this important step. I should point out that ratification, though essential, is not, only, is not the only part in the equation. Becoming party to an international convention, such as the Rome Statute, also requires that the obligation taken on by virtue of this are domesticated within the national legal system. It is in this regard, in this regard, only a few number of the countries that are parties to the ICC have taken this critical step. We must all redouble our efforts in this respect. I urge all of you in the coming days Therefore, as you listen and participate, to reflect on what you can do within your respective parliaments to further entrench the ICC. We in PGA remain at your disposal to provide whatever assistance or advice that you may require. As parliamentarians, we cannot all we cannot all but strongly subscribe to the importance of the rule of law as an important bedrock for a civilized society. Therefore, a society in which injustice and impunity is rife is a society that is bound to descend into anarchy and failure. By the end of the two days here in Santo Domingo, it is my hope that we would be Amongst that we would have amongst us other things, other things that would raise our consciousness of our colleagues in the Caribbean and the Americas with regard to the ICC and can adopt an action plan for assisting the countries in this region and elsewhere towards certification as well as domestication of the Rome Statute. Let me conclude by saying once again, how delighted I am to be here in Santo Domingo. Thank you, Minu, and thank you to all the colleague, your colleagues and staff for your wonderful hospitality that we have enjoyed since our arrival into this, your lovely city, which I think is a truly tropical paradise. I wish you all successful deliberations and an enjoyable time. Thank you very much. Muchas gracias.